hello everyone welcome back to my channel plan 3d tutorial and i know it's been a long long time since i have made any video and due to my busy schedule and today also my schedule is very tight and but i have taken some time to at least make a small video about some basic topic actually i didn't want to cover the simple topic about pump modeling but since some of my subscribers had commented to make a video about it so i thought we'll make a video on it but after this we'll take on some important topics such as like uh, spec creation and admin part of the plan 3d so stay tuned to my channel and i will try my best to upload uh, my videos frequently and before starting this video i just want to thank all my subscribers for showing me the support and love as we have completed 100 subscribers so i'm really thankful from the bottom of my heart and Please keep supporting me, share my videos with all your friends. So let us begin without wasting any more time. So first coming to the pump modeling, the procedure is very simple, similar to what how, how we had created the previous equipments like the vessels. So if you haven't watched that video, you can watch that video as well. So first to create the pump, you can see that on, in the ribbon bar, we have the option create. So same uh, how we create the equipment, same create button you have to click. And next scroll this menu down and then you can see here we have the pump so pumps we have different types of pumps mostly in the plants we use centrifugal pumps and of course we use other types of pumps as well but mostly we use centrifugal pump so I'll be doing one pump and the procedure for other pumps is also similar so we'll be doing the centrifugal pump and the remaining pump you can try by yourself and if you have any doubts uh, I will try to clear in the comment section or in my next videos and also I can see that my viewers are commenting in the comment section about their issues some of the issues I am resolving in the comment section but some of them cannot be resolved in the comment section so I'm not able to answer them but I'll make sure in some video I'll just take out all your comments and just clear your doubts in one single video so mostly we'll do it in the future so now let us model this centrifugal pump so first I'll click on this centrifugal pump and you can see there is an image coming on the left side of the centrifugal pump and here we have this description tag and rest of the dimensions and for this dimensions I have an image of a pump GA so we'll be referring this image for the dimensions and the nozzle dimensions will be assuming it because I don't have that nozzle details right now so let us begin by giving a description centrifugal pump okay tag tag we can give a tag to the pump the tag varies based on the organization where you work and we have these dimensions over here so before giving these dimensions i'll just click on create so that i can uh, explain you in a better manner you can i'll just show you about that okay so i have placed my pump in the zero region okay so now i'll be modifying this pump I'll click on this pump, right click and modify. Okay. The first dimension is SL. SL is nothing but the dimension of the longer side of the frame. That is this dimension. So if you see this image, the dimension is 1395. This dimension is the pedestal size and this is our frame on which this is the frame and this is the pedestal on which our uh, pump is resting. So 1395 is the longer dimension. 1395. Okay. I have already given next SB SB is 520 as you can see here and I have given the dimension and SH SH is what SH is the height of the frame height of the frame you can see that it is here 203 203 is including this plate let us ignore that plate the plate might be more than 10 mm but let us uh, ignore just 3 mm and give the height of the frame as 200 so 200 I have given next SI what is SI? SI is the distance between the center of the discharge nozzle to the edge of this frame. That is center of this nozzle, discharge nozzle to the edge of this frame. So if you see this drawing, the dimension is given here and the dimension is 110. So I have given 110 here. And next SO. SO is dimension between the center of the suction nozzle to the bottom of the frame. SO. So SO is 403 so I will give it as 403 here HC what is HC HC if you click on HC here um, HC here you can see that it is the thickness of this casing 
this casing what you see here on this pump this is that thickness so it is given as 200 so but because in generally in any pump GA this casing thickness or the dimension of this width of this casing won't be given you have to assume it based on the size of this suction nozzle so let us assume the size of this discharge nozzle as uh, 150 and the width of this casing as 200 so width of the casing HC I have given as 200 and next DC what is DC DC is the diameter of this casing diameter of this casing let us assume something around 225 225 yeah it will get refined later let us keep it 225 for now next L L1 BB L1 BB if you can see here it is not given exactly in my drawing most of the pumps it won't be given so this also this value also will just give it an assumption but the thing is we will match this overall dimension that is 530 140 and 806 I guess but this exact dimension we won't be able to maintain so let us assume this cone dimension that is this cone and this cone are same so let us assume that dimension as 400 for now I will give it as 400 okay next is D1 BB D1 BB is diameter of this cone so that diameter let us give it as 200 because our casing diameter is 225 a little bit smaller we will keep it okay next D2 BB D2 BB is the radius of this uh, smaller uh, smaller side of the cone uh, and this D1 BB is also the radius not diameter so D2 BB let us assume it as 100 next is L2 BB L2 BB is length of this rod or coupling whatever you want to call uh, if it is given here we will give it or I'll suggest assume some value as I told you the dimensions won't be given in the pump GA so we'll assume some values so let us keep it as 250 and next is D1MS D1MS is the radius of this motor that is center till the edge so let us maintain it as 200 only okay so L1MS next is L1MS L1MS is the distance between as you can see here the top of this shell that is from this point till this TL this edge so it is 0 right now let us let me give it 50 and next LMS LMS is length of the motor length of the motor we will give it as let me see if it is given here it's not given but let us assume it as 700 700 D2 MS D2 MS is the radius of this uh, rod or coupling so let us give it as 50 and I'll just click on apply and see if it is okay think I have to increase this distance 50 Did you make it zero itself this is better so I hope you understood what this L1 MS is see if I give it as 100 the distance from this point to this uh, TL increases so if I make it as 200 see again the distance increases so that is the that is the that is what this L1 MS is so let us keep it as 0 so that we get a curvature and it looks like a motor and next I think we have covered all the dimensions so now you can see that this pump is having a plate here so I need that representation in my pump as well so what I can do is I can reduce the diameter of, of this motor what is the diameter D1 MS D1 MS 250 let me make it as 150 and check ok this is too small I'll make it as 175 ok so I got a plate here and it looks similar to that we cannot get exactly if you want the exact uh, representation then you have to do the solid modeling and, and attach it to the equipment so right now that much detailing is not required uh, based on for our piping and also this cone doesn't look very much good as see this diameter is more than the diameter of this casing so we will reduce that diameter also that is D1 BB 250 let us make it as 150 and check yeah this is fine and next I also want a plate below this casing so what I'll do is I will reduce the diameter of this casing ok where is the casing diameter DC 
casing diameter is DC that is let us make it as 200 and see okay it looks better and we'll leave this and next I also want a little bit nozzle projection uh, how it is in my discharge so what I'll do is I'll reduce the thickness that is 175 will make see first you can assume some dimension and at the end you can uh, do some modification and beautify the model okay so I'm giving it as 175 and apply the width has reduced and it looks better now so next uh, next dimensions are okay so I have to maintain this overall dimensions so first I will click on ok and check the dimensions how much I am getting for that let me go to the wireframe ok first first this overall dimension is 140 from center of this nozzle to this nozzle is 184 for now so first what we will do is we will edit this nozzle since overall dimensions we have made well almost made we will edit it after giving the nozzle details so first we'll click on the equipment and click on this pencil and next N01 and N1 you can change the tag here I'll just keep it as N1 next uh, suction I want it as 150 pressure rating 300 okay we we'll, won't change those dimensions and skip on this second nozzle that is nozzle flanged I want raised face and uh, 6 inch nominal dia 300 uh, rating and and the code is ASME B16.5 this is flat face and this is ring type joint flange so I want rest face and location next is location see the location only one dimension you have to give that is edge I'll just move it from the edge of from the edge of this nozzle till the center of this discharge nozzle this is L2FC what is L2FC it is given here that is 140 so we'll just mention it as 140 this dimensions are very important and this dimensions you have to give the exact and you cannot assume these values okay other other dimensions of this motor and this coupling and all you can assume because that is not important for our piping but this nozzle position is very important so you have to carefully check in the GA and then mention it so it is 140 and I will just close it see now this nozzle has gone inside so we have to modify our uh, equipment so now I will just give this discharge nozzle detail 100 is the size and I will select this second nozzle and this dimension chain location first is LF1C that is center that is distance from the center of the suction nozzle till the top of the discharge nozzle that is 355 355 next is pf1c pf1c is the position like if you want to offset the nozzle from the center you can give the dimension or something if you offset if you want to offset to the right of this pump this way then you can give a positive value like 100 mm 200 whatever and if you want to offset to the left you can give it in the minus values but I want in the center so we'll be giving it as 0 because in my GA you can see the center line you can see it is in the center ok I'll just close it ok our nozzles are ready but if we have to change some dimensions and we'll do that I'll click on modify and first I'll reduce the thickness of this FC FC let me make it as 150 itself apply ok that is fine and next and now we will check this dimensions 140 the distance has to be 140 yes the distance from the two nozzles center nozzles is 140 you can see here and next distance is center of the suction nozzle till bottom of the frame is 403 so we will measure it from here to here it is 403 okay so this is also right and next from the center till the end we will measure we won't consider this separately we will just measure the 530 plus 140 plus 806 
so how much it is it is 1475 so I'll just measure it from here center till the end 1425 so another 50 mm I have to increase it okay so I'll increase the length of this coupling okay so coupling length uh, you can increase the length of this motor or this casing anywhere you want but I'll be increasing the length of the coupling so length of the coupling is uh, L2 BB okay so I'll make it 300 okay so from the center of this nozzle till the end it is 1475 so the sum is also 1475 so the, my overall dimension is matched and my this 140 and this 403 is also matched and next this important dimension that is 355 that is from the center of the suction nozzle till the top of the discharge nozzle ok we will measure and see 355 is exactly so so I think these dimensions are enough for us so I will just keep it in shaded now and you can see that our pump is ready so this is how our pump will look like in plan 3D see the representation is not exactly the same as per our GA drawing the most important thing is the dimensions of our nozzle because when we do the piping these dimensions are important and it has to be same as what it has it is shown in the GA drawing now the flanges has not created because our spec is not updated so this is how we create a pump in plan 3D so if you want to increase this casing also for more good representation you can increase the casing size also since I didn't want to enter this casing inside this frame I have reduced the size so for me it is quite good so I'll just keep it in that way see this representation is not important as I told you only the nozzle dimensions are important and also if you want to create uh, other type of pumps you can go and create go into pump host pump host pump you have and the respective dimensions are given here you have to just see the GA and enter the respective dimensions host pump we have vertical inline pump then we have this horizontal split case pump and other things and this is just uh, like uh, you can add the shapes whichever you want if you have a irregular shape sized pump you can add shape and model it like how you model an equipment there is no difference between modeling an equipment and using this horizontal and vertical pump okay so this is how we create a standard pump in plan 3d and also if you want to have a custom pumps then you have to model that custom pumps using this options which are present in the plan 3d and then you can convert into a equipment and also this converting and uh, this converting an AutoCAD file into an equipment file I have created a separate video so if you haven't watched you can watch that video for more clarification so guys I hope you understood how to model a pump in plan 3d and if you still have any doubts you can just comment in the comment section I'll try my best to clear all your doubts so if this video was useful to you please like this video subscribe to my channel and share this videos with all your friends who wants to learn about plan 3d and all okay guys so I'll catch you up in the next video till then take care and goodbye